Okay, this session is for learning session. Toastmaster of the day, very important. I would like every one of you pay attention to what we need to learn from this role because you will be called to serve as this role as well. Toastmaster of the day, when you have that rituals of briefing, more importantly, you must pay attention to the changes, last minute changes that you need to announce. Second, you want to pay attention on whether we have special role like listening teacher. Listening teacher is not common in every club. That is why we need to explain this to all the members, especially we have new members. If we were, and also we have a guest. And even we have a great a game master during the break time, we need to, when you cover the agenda, you also need to cover the break because every club's break is different. Our break, when we don't have listening teaser, we will have game master. And then you want to mention that who is the game master and all these things. Toastmaster of the day, we want to remind every speaker if he or she see the timer. Because I found that many people, many speaker or you no know, the role player, they don't see the timer. That's how they've got over time. And I also want to remind, this is mutual, that remind every speaker, evaluator, role player, please pay attention on the timer because in Toastmasters, time is everything. We have to speak effectively within that given time. You cannot be just speaking, speaking, and not looking at the time. You cannot just throw the time away and talk and talk until you are satisfied. That is not the way in Toastmaster. In Toastmaster, we are trained to speak within the time. Paper topic master today, I want to applaud our free team. She is an exemplary paper topic master. She has covered the purpose of the session, the time, and she also her question also focus on the theme. Um, this is very important because every one of you will be called to play this role as well. So we all want to pay attention and learn it in every meeting. For the table topic session, all the speakers in general, I think these few people did quite well. The three of you, you have a point, a point where you focus to elaborate, to talk about it. That is the point that I want to see. I don't expect you to be perfect at this time, but at least that is a very good beginning. You have a point as a center, you just elaborate, argue in that center point. And in terms of evaluations, I want to applaud Susan. She has given a very good teaching. She did very good evaluation. She mentioned from the very beginning, she had three good points, three point suggestion for improvement. And she highlighted all the good things that the evaluator, because Richie is a first time evaluator, he needs to learn a lot of things. So he, she, she gave all the positive points that she saw in him. And then she taught him how to be constructive and be positive. Because when I put him to evaluate the icebreaker, he, she is a first timer. If I put him to evaluate the higher one, he might be nervous. Nonetheless, as an icebreaker, you are the first timer. You are also nervous. So if you are being evaluated and evaluated is not positive enough, that could be not encouraging. Okay? So I think when we play, just remember in Toastmasters, all of us, all of us are learning. So if you feel uncomfortable, you feel discouraging, don't hold that negative feeling. Come and talk to me. I will explain that to you. Uh, I see, and then overall, the speaker. One thing is very important. All the speakers, listen to this one. Positioning is the most important thing today you need to learn especially in front of the camera. It is very important now you look at me. I have my camera parallel, right? You see, look at me. I look at you through the pinhole. You can see me, see my facial expression, see my hand gesture. Now we are online. We need to have all the gauges. We need to buy that. We need to invest that. If you, you are using this uh, computer, raise your computer up. 
Otherwise, you want to buy a tripod for your cam, use your handphone as a camera, and then you put it at the same level so that you can project yourself accurately to the audience. That's why for this speaker, Munashi, actually she looked at the camera, but the camera is so down that side by side with the computer, she, you think she was looking at the computer, look down, she, because this was her situation. I discussed with her, she will buy a tripod in the next speech. So I want to tell you, today you have seen all the speaker, uh, those speaker who don't have the right position of the camera, you can tell you are in a disadvantaged position. Am I right? I want you to not losing any point by having that position right. May, you given a lot of positive point and really encourage the speaker. Nonetheless, we want to look at the speaker, who she is. She is quite an, an accomplished individual. She probably does not need that much of the positive point because she knew. What she's here to look for is a point for improvement. When you evaluate this kind of accomplished speaker, you want to re really give her the real stuff to improve, to help her improve. So you want to save more time to give her the feedback, the real feedback for her to improve instead of 10 points of good and one point for improvement only. Yeah. But overall, as, as a quite new evaluator, you did very well. Andrew also, I also want to applaud you, although you were a little rested, but you managed to find the good point. Joseph explained yoga very clearly. That was a good point. Yeah, I agree with you. And you, the, all this suggestion you gave him, very good. You, you maintain the balance, not just mention on the way he handled the audience. Kudos to you. Now my time is up. I shall stop here. We will continue to learn in the next meeting.